Hi guys, what's going on? Weaver John C. Rosemont, California. It's still May 20th, 2021. The time index right now is 5.38 p.m. It's still Thursday. Try this one. I'm going through CNN, trying to see what the hell is going on in life. And then they do a breaking news concerning about the former Trump administration seeking phone records and email addresses from CNN, Washington Post, and maybe a couple other places. If the Trump administration actually won the election and, and Biden was no longer the president, we would have a police state. Let that sink in. Those who keep supporting Trump left and right want to find the enemies. Well, just how far are we going to be going and how much of the rights are we going to be stripping down left and right just for protection or just for their own rights and not the civil rights of everybody else or the rights of privacy at this point? When you have the attack of the First Amendment happening at this point, I mean, when you have a former administration in its heyday using its own Justice Department as as the Gestapo, if I'm going to be using that one, if I'm going to use that terminology without getting blasted all over the social media at this point, but that kind of technique of going after the enemies enemies of the regime, of the of the Reich, of the Trump administration. This is the reason why, this is one of the reasons why I never liked that administration or the followers or the supporters of it. Because they're following the same programmed response of being a Trumplicant, of, of being a programmed Borg. Solidifying the argument concerning about us versus them. They say the other side's division and traditional, and they're unifying. Just which unif unification are we talking about in the first place here, and how much of the rights are going to be thrown a, a, under the bus at this point over here, or more soft, thrown into a cuisine art and ground up for, for reprocessing? This pisses me off. Just how far with the Trump administration trying to go to solidify a power base, to do a pseudo-democracy? much like Russia's got. They're using every form of law enforcement under its thumb to circumnavigate certain rights for certain people. And for those trying to speak out of the truth, they get stumped. Just how far are we regressing at that point if we actually had the Trump administration coming back for round two? And he's coming back for round two. He and his Trumplicants are still working on it. I hate to draw a line in the sand at this point over here, but I've been drawing it ever since. I never even realized it, but I'm going to have to say it right now. I feel that the GOP is no longer the GOP. The Republican Party is now the Trumplican Party. Or, for those Trump followers, it's still the Trump Party. But they consider themselves as Republicans. Well, Republicans no more. Not in the current terminology anyway, and not the not the terminology of the old. Because right now what these guys are showing is they have no respect for the law. January 6th demonstrated that. In the House of Representatives, we had, what is it, about 35 Republicans voted with the Democrats in order to get a commission. And yet the Senate shut it down. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell shut it down. So there would be no commission. What the hell is this coward afraid of? Of course, he'd like to have everybody investigated. Everybody's got to be investigated. <coughs> Great, so now we are reverting back to Nazi Germany, aren't we? And yes, I am throwing that one out too. If I'm going to get blasted by YouTube and Google and everybody else, I might as well throw out the comparisons of what happened back in the 1930s and the 40s. Did anybody happen to remember what the hell happened during that time? Or did our history books happen to get wiped out out of existence as well? Well, we actually had a beaten down country who tried to do whatever it is they were trying to do in the first war. Trying to avenge someone trying to show that they were masculine or more 
macho and more a bit of an asshole. And then what happens? Treaty of Versailles shuts them down. They shut down a lot of their industry. No wonder they were pissed off during World War II. And they wanted to take over the world because they got convinced by a lunatic. Well, guess what America was? America was convinced by a lunatic in the 2016 election. And look what happened there. People said we had peace. Are you kidding me? How many fucking riots did we have in the streets? Almost every single day in every single city? But we have some certain fine people out there now, don't we? Yeah, it pisses me off. We need a two-party system to counterbalance each other. <clears throat> what we don't have and what we don't need is one party that rules them all. And I'm not saying it should be the Democratic Party all the time. No. Just currently we have the majority and we should be doing everything we can to try to help fix things if we can. And yes, I'm a liberal. I'm a liberal. I'm a Democrat. I want to call a libtard these days. I'm liberally retarded. Because I don't think conservative or what the Trumplicans would want me to think about. Yeah, I'm drawing a line in the sand at this point over here because I'm pissed and I'm outraged about the damn shit. When I have a former regime, or I'm sorry, a former administration, try to circumnavigate privacy laws left and right and bypass the First Amendment rights because they feel they can, because they're in power and they're in check and they're above the law. Nobody's above the Constitution. Nobody's above the law. Nobody. In the United States, you're, you're ruled by the law. But laws are made by people. And there are processes. There are processes. But bypassing those processes, processes to get your own damn ego working. Oh my God. Just what the hell have we got ourselves into? What the hell have we got ourselves into? Our First Amendment rights, our own freedoms, our Bill of Rights, the Constitution, it all means a damn thing. That's the founding basis of our country. Imperfect as it is, and it's supposed to be imperfect, because there is nothing perfect about our country. But it can change and it can adapt but to the point where we're going to be circumnavigating everybody else's rights left and right because we have egos running it. Nah. I draw a line here. I draw the line now. <laughs>